Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm getting buried in this kind of stuff, so it's time for another mailbag. These packages have been, actually all of these packages have been sitting around way too long, so I have no idea what's in all of them, but just giving them the rattle test makes me feel like these two are related, so I'm gonna open them at the same time. So this one here, $3.54, this one's $6.05. Yep, uh, here we go. Um, 100 pieces M3 uh, nuts. I was running low on those. I always have to fill in, fill up with the uh, hardware stuff. So these are probably gonna be some nuts as well. They are, and these are M10 uh, nylock lock nuts. Pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, get this stuff relatively cheap online because locally metric stuff is ridiculous. So for the M10 stuff, I've got this box here. Uh, I just sort of threw them in there because I didn't really know where else to put them. Probably end up having, you know, separate containers for these kinds of things. But yeah, there we go. M10 lock nuts. Now put away. Uh, for the M3 nuts, the situation was much more dire than that. So here we go. And how many M3 nuts did I have left? Like four, eight... 10, I had 10 left. So obviously these 100 are more than welcome. They're not expensive, but you gotta order them before you need them because, or else you have to wait like a month to get them. There we go. I feel better now. On to the next one. Next one up is this one here, $9.51. I took the label off and I kind of saw that it's a real. This is D DIY, and this one says DIR. Uh, they're definitely they look like LEDs. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna have to zoom you in so uh, we can check it out together. Got one of the uh, DIY ones out, and let's just see if I can get one out here and test it. So even though you're really zoomed in, that just looks like a little speck on your screen. Uh, these pliers here, the LED twi, uh sent to me, I believe, by Johnny Bergdahl. Oh, they're flashing! Can you see that? So yeah, these are uh, SMD LEDs. I believe they're. I ordered a hundred or maybe two hundred, and. Uh, yeah, I wanted these to build my own supercomputer a la Julian Eilert and um, a Big Clive. However, uh, apparently the SMD ones were very hard to find. So I did find a listing, and that's why they're a bit expensive, because they're very specialized. So I'm guessing that one was Y for yellow, and this would be R for red. Let's open this one up. I think they're 0805, but they could be 0603. I don't quite remember when I ordered them. And this packaging is very difficult for me to open. There we go. And here we go. Yeah, red. So I'm hoping to make some supercomputer panels. Um, and yeah, it should be really interesting. So there we go. Neat. On to the next one. Next one up is this one here, uh, $4.37, but I tried to feel through the bag. I really, I don't know what this is. So your guess is as good as mine. Put it in the comments, what do you think it's gonna be? Oh yeah, that makes sense. So part of the uh, DIY racing wheel, I'm gonna try to not speak while I open this. There we go. Some weird dirty goobers in there. Um, is that uh, the wheel is very big and powerful and dangerous. Uh, it's just about three quarters of a horsepower at max output. And so uh, somewhere 
along the line, you need a place where you can... Oh, it was already pressed, that's why. Uh, where you can press and shut it off. So this is a um, dual pole single throw switch, which uh, I'm going to put nearby somewhere that uh, I can access it and uh, probably somewhere I can hit it with my knee or something so my hands can get clear or something. I might even use two. And yeah, these things are really cheap for what they are. Hopefully it, it works out. Oh, oh, I don't know if I was supposed to remove all of that, but yeah, here you put the emergency stop on. This collar goes this way. There you go. So you do need a little bit of mounting space there. And then this goes, oh, oh God, what have I done? I think this goes like this then, right? That only makes sense. This collar goes on like so. And then this collar goes on. I'm so confused. That works. Oh, this collar goes underneath there. Oh, geez. Okay. This guy goes on there. That actually mounts it to the whatever you're mounting it to. Then this goes on. Then this. Then this. And then this. There we go. So now you got your emergency stop switch. You press, you reactivate, and you're good. So yeah, simple, simple little things, um, but vital. Uh, it says it can do 660 volts at 10 amps. I don't know about that, but um, I'll probably parallel both these connectors so it doesn't melt or anything with the high current. Um, and I don't want this on the AC side. I'm probably going to put this on the DC side, so... Yeah, pretty neat. Very inexpensive, as you saw. They were two two bucks and something each. On to the next one. Next one up is this one here. Uh, this comes from a friend of the show and Florida man, another maker. Uh, he told me to buy these things. So development board ESP uh, ESP C2. So I think it's ESP32 C2 or ESP12 C2. I don't know. Anyways, I got a bunch of ESP. Uh, these cheaper ESP uh, micros, 3793, uh, and he figures it's going to be the next best thing, so I want to jump on the bandwagon before it's too late and the prices go way up, because uh, you folks that use my affiliate links, which I thank you very much for, by the way, um, seem to buy everything out, and then everything becomes more expensive. And then how am I supposed to avoid making videos if I don't have the uh, micros in my hands? But yeah, I believe these are just like cut down ESP32s where they have a uh, single core. They still have Wi-Fi and all that stuff on them, but yeah. Oh, and they have USB-C, which is really neat as well. So yeah, on here, no, ESP-C2-12. So yeah, they're a little bit cheaper, as you saw. I think I got 10 of them here for whatever that was, $3.79 each Canadian uh, shipped, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to give these a shot. Gonna probably make a little, uh, you know, a little video explaining what these things are and the differences between this and the ESP32. So yeah, I've been learning some uh, HTML in my spare time. And then I'll move on to CSS after that. And so uh, these little things work as little web servers. They're, they're perfect for little web servers. So we'll see the performance on that. Next one up is this one here. Uh, again, feeling through the bag. I really don't know what it is, but it's kind of board shaped. I don't know, $7.60. And Oh, neat. Yeah, this is a restock item. So I've, uh, I've been using a lot of lithium cells in my recent projects. I'm starting to run out of these boards. Um, these boards are super useful. These are uh, TP4056 uh, charging ICs with the DW01 protection ICs. So basically this is complete management 
of a single cell uh, 18650 uh, lithium uh, ion or lithium polymer battery. Uh, all you have to do is you plug in there to charge and um, to charge it up, or you can use these two pads on the outsides. These uh, just split apart, so they're actually really small. Uh, and then you have the DW01, which manages the cell itself. So if the cell goes too low or charges too high, it'll just cut it off completely. So you can have your load on the outside here. So battery positive, battery negative, load positive, load negative, charge negative, charge positive. Everything done on one chip and these things are absolute or one board. These things are absolutely tiny and I really recommend you guys pick these things up if you're into lithium cell projects. In fact, if you remember this PCB, those are the ones soldered right in right there. So yeah, works really well. And that's it. That's it for today's uh, mailbag. I put all the hardware away so, you know, you don't see it here, but not a big deal. Um, make sure you come by my live streaming channel, SC Made a Stream, uh, so that you can see me take a look at these things and work on projects that include these things in real time. That's every Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern time, for the time being, at the very least. And yeah, thank you very much to my Patreon patrons. Their support means I get to buy cool stuff to make cool projects. And thanks for watching.